Well, if you maybe this is working, folks. I don't see it showing up yet, though. I mean, it just doesn't look like anything's red in terms of disconnected or anything. Maybe we're actually back. You know, I think we are. Ooh, that reversed? That was kind of nasty. Also, what's up, Pizza Steve? Hope you've been doing well. I see you're in winter semis right now. Ooh, looks like we got the the winner semis mostly set up actually. It's just the result of this match. So let me put up the scoreboard for this. We got Bist over here and Subtonic. We've been watching all day. <laughs> Ready, Bist up one game there. Um, honestly, really well played. It was a pretty good punish game. Friends of HS, I'm assuming you're aware the overlay still says H versus Orange. Yes, thank you. I just updated that because I was just... We had some internet issues, so... I was just kind of waiting for it to see if it was stable before updating everything. Almost hits that knee there. Wow, slide off from the, the stomp there. That was crazy. Even though, uh, you know, Subtonic's down in percent here. Oh, wow, they're both sliding off these moves. Uh, this is still pretty good kill percent for uh, versus an Ice Climber. Oh, the stomp edge cancel knee there. That was really clean looking. It looks fancy after. I'm gonna go ahead and tag the people who are top eight, actually. So let me do top eight, and then let me check the broadcast who's going to be up first. Looks like P. So P to Steve's set is going to be up first.
Things are so good at sliding off things. You just see them sliding off all the time. Also, I really like the Reaper boosts, just because, ooh, good edge guard so far. Beautiful edge guard from Ice Climbers there. But yeah, the Reaper Beasts, I, I just feel like they lead to stuff to me so often. And they're, they're pretty good at separating Ice Climbers, just that one move. Of course, I think it does feel scary. I don't really know how often it gets Shield Grab, but it also looks like Shield Grab. So. Ooh, really good air dodge by Bist. That was crazy to avoid the well-placed knee from Subtonic. But so Tony's been going for the side bees a couple times now. It might be scary to keep going for it. Ooh, that might be the kill. Kills off the top on Yoshi as well. Just tried to DI that in, and she ended up dying off the top instead. Okay, we got a nice game three here. Ooh, some handoffs here. Deadly percent. Wow, gets that re-grab on that throw there. That's crazy. Wow, it turned into a zero to death there, I think. That was very nice. Ethan, what's up? Bist is pretty good. So Tana looks pretty common versus Ices. Yeah, there have been some really good stuff. I do actually get scared. Like, this double jumping stuff is pretty good. But I would have banned FD because, you know, it's scary. Ice Timers, I talked about it earlier, they're going to attack your landings. And it's way easier on this stage to challenge landings than on stages with platforms. Oh, the grab! It what? <laughs> that was actually such a funny grab. It looked like it was from behind. Oh, really good timing on that edge guard just to cut Falcon off before he even gets the apex. Yeah, that's actually a really good Falcon edge guarding tip in general. If you can cut Falcon off, um, before he reaches the apex, then he can't even really control the drift. So it's very strong. If if he's already done the apex, and then he can drift backward or forward more, a little bit trickier to finish it. Was oh, this going to be another zero to death? Man, that was 80%. Pretty, pretty good damage, even if it wasn't the kill. Nice, if Tonic gets under... One thing about Falcon, though, you have to be careful. Like, knee is good on shield, I believe. But I I would guess you still need to have it be low, or you need to do an immediate action afterwards for it to be safe. Because if you just stand there, or if you do a high enough on shield, I'm like, no. You're just making it easier for you to get punished if they try to punish it. Ooh, barely spaces outside the down smash. Yeah, pretty much anything, any smash attack will probably lead to an edge guard for Falcon. Or against Falcon. Okay, two to one, last game here. Yeah, I will say also, the majors are pretty variable, but it just depends. You can also look at this results. I'm pretty sure I checked her. I mean, I checked all the entrance at registration, and you can look at her, her results too. I mean, we could look at it together, but I want to look at the match. Honestly, oh, Subtonic me. Oh my god, that was a pretty good Sobo combo. I was gonna say, Subtonic needs to be careful about Yolo on these. Because it looked really good, like 110% on Solo Climber, up air kill. But 
The Sopo's been doing work here. Ooh, if I have to go for something fancy, you can just go for the up airs, I think. Okay, gets the hard knee eventually. Okay, this takes it 2-1 over Subtonic. Yeah, I looked at that, and I look back, and she do, she does actually have some runs where she's gone like three two or something like that, or four two at her locals. But the three tournaments right before her first LOM, so let's see, WWU Winter Finale, she went one and two versus people like that. That's pretty reasonable. Coin box, she went three and two actually, but beating some pretty random people. That I I don't know, so I'm not really sure how to weigh that. Then Cheba Hut Monday, she went one and two. Um, but it was a small local, because it was four people, so that's not that good data. And then before that, at Rain, so a monthly, she went one and two. And then at Rain 5, oh, this is, oh, this is like the bronze bracket. She went four and two. And then the other local before that, she went three and two. So yeah, I mean, you could argue that she might be too good, or technically she's done better than two, better than one and two, actually. But I thought it was fine looking at her results when I did look at this the first time. What are you saying, Ed? I don't understand. Wait, Cheba. Chiba? I don't know. So we are going to have Bist and Pizza Steve up next. So let me tag them. Bist, you and Pizza Steve are up. Please button check so we can verify broadcast works. Me and Subtomic about to play our fourth set in two loms. Yeah, I saw that you guys played. Are you guys, were you guys in the same pool? You guys were, oh my God. I'm sorry that that keeps happening. I, I I remember that you guys played last week, and then I saw you guys were in the same pool again. I didn't. I don't really think about the conflicts that much, but I try to avoid them if I can. But I just overlooked that one, and now you're gonna play again. <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit of a rivalry. I think you guys have good sets. You too. Okay, let me do a prediction here. Am I going to G10? Probably not. Is that next year? Genesis 9 happened already? Anyways, the prediction is open. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get some points in. It's going to be Bist versus Pizza Steve up first. And then I'm also going to unlock these matches. Sorry about that. If 
the competitors are listening. I forgot to do that. I'll check in for both of them so they don't get DQ'd, but you guys have to do the stage striking. Nice, the broadcast looks like it works. Everyone, one more reminder that the channel point prediction is up. Oh, I should tell them they're right we're ready. Um It's a theme. Me is Jethro. May Stre Jethro, welcome to the stream. Are you a Pizza Steve fan or are you just going Pizza Steve because of that name? Okay, we're into it. We're starting off on Greenland, and this is pretty interesting. I think the top platform is pretty good here, so I would probably ban this as Bist, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, here's an kill. That was beautiful. I talk about this all the time, but killing Nana is just so important, pretty much in every Icy matchup. Like, I really can't think of one where it isn't important. Like, knowing how to kill her efficiently and just realizing the value of it, like, and the risk of not killing Nana. Just the fact that Ugh, their neutrals worse without Nana, and they were punished, so it's just, it's so good. And their punish is worse, but Bist is maybe getting it done still. Ooh, nice wiggle out. I think Bist expected a tech chase there. Ooh, beautiful! If I killed, that would have been so beautiful. Ooh, Pizza Steve! I uh, accidentally give up another stock there. And yeah, if, if you're an OG of Lom, you know Pizza Steve actually has a habit of SDing. I think he has gotten way better about it, because as he's gotten way better at the game, but you know, you still see those. I mean it's also a spacey character, right? Sometimes you press some buttons and then everything goes wrong. And you're fat you fall fast, so. Ooh, really good up air conversions on Nana, but didn't finish it. It was actually a really good combo too, because if you combo her all the way to the top plat, then the other ice climber is going to have a hard time getting to you to be able to punish. It's because their, their vertical is pretty bad. What? Oh my god! If she finished that, that would have been actually so crazy. Yeah, and this is turning into a tough comeback here. Oh, another shine show opportunity. Oh, beautiful. That actually killed Bist. I wonder if the shine made it so that Ice Climbers couldn't get the up E. It's a homie stock. True. Okay. I mean, you know, even though there's a huge percent, Ices can get blown up. I mean, okay. Okay. Interesting. Box says, for me, I find Sopo harder than both Ice Climbers. Maybe it's just like, I mean, I'm sure they play differently too when there's both Climbers versus one. So maybe you're just really good at knowing how to play versus the both Climbers. But it should be like, oh, nice text. It should be that you can feel like their kill power is going to be worse because they don't have their throw smash attacks and stuff. Um, and also that they're neutral, like they don't have as much projectile stuff to work with. 
um, and desync setups. So you should be able to feel that. And it's not like that means clearly, oh, I can do this and this and this. It, it, that's just a very high level way of saying it. Like, I don't actually have the details for you specifically for Puff, how it's gonna be different. But I mean, you know you'll live longer and their options should be more limited. Like if they're gonna attack you pretty much, I don't think they'll ever really use projectiles when it's Soko. Like they use projectiles and blizzards when it's two of them, but you really can eliminate that option when it's solo climber. Okay. Stadium. Um, I kind of would have chosen a top plat stage like Battlefield, but you know, on Stadium, you have the small ceiling. So as Fox, you're up there uppers, up smashes are going to kill at a nice percent. Yeah, but the thing is, up throw up air, I mean, are you going to really up throw? Ugh, troll from ledge. Don't do that, sorry. I mean, like, you can do it sometimes, but... It's risky. Ooh, Steve almost got something really beautiful. Is Biz going to convert this? She doesn't quite do it. Ooh, I don't like that either. Overchasing on Nana, and then the other thing you want to be really careful about, I talked about this, you don't want to let Icy's attack your landing. So if you use your double jump aggressively, you know, it's going to be really, really a great chance for the Ice Climbers. Beautiful punishes the ledge dash actually after it ends in its ability. Oh my god! This is turning into an insane combo. Oh my god, it's a it's a zero to death. Ooh. Ooh. Propaganda, thanks for giving props to your opponent. Um thanks for participating as usual. Appreciate the good vibes and everything. And yeah, good luck to Subtonic. If they're making top eight, I mean, they're they're pretty good. They can make it far for sure. Okay, this is looking like a Abyss stub. Oh, is the, the Slowpoke gonna do it? Spots, what's up? So even though you play a lot of Sheik now, you still cheer for Isis. Interesting. Okay. Pete Steve had a chance there. Yeah, and this is okay. Like, look at how that interaction worked. Because Pizza Steve had the platforms, it was way harder for Ice Climbers to actually get the punish. Um, even if you're chasing after Nana like that. I would play them exclusively if they weren't so gosh darn hard. That's fair. They are a weird character, for sure. But well played. This takes it 2-0 over Pizza Steve. Pizza Steve, I know we were talking about how the VODs are whack. As in, like, you know, it's messed up because of the internet. But if you watch this back, I would say, yeah, well, watch your double jumps. Like, you died for it maybe, like, once or twice at least that I can think of. And then the ledge dashes I also noticed. And then, you know, of course, there's SDs. And, like, it's hard to win if you SD, but that's hard to put into actual feedback sometimes. But, yes. Uh, GG's Abyss and Pizza Steve. P so Abyss now in Winner's Finals, and we're going to get the other side of Winner's Semis now. We're going to get Space Dog and Arnando up now. Okay, we have Arnando's broadcast. I love it when I don't have to change the character stuff. I just leave it as Ice Climbers. So nice. Okay, cool. We got the broadcast. Broadcast is good to go. Good luck. Have fun. And also the prediction for this, manage prediction. This one gets all the points. No one does. Okay, start prediction. Winners. 
Themize Arnando Space Dog. Okay, here's another five minute prediction, folks. Get your points in if you would like. Bist, hello, nice dub. You got a crazy combo on a stadium on the left side there. Like the the ice school reset into the handoff kill. I think it was a zero to death. Space Dog being a Mars is so damn funny. You know, I didn't even think about that, but that is funny. I think their profile pick is actually a Space Dog. On, um... Yeah, it is. On Star GG, it's actually like a dog in an like, astronaut suit thing. Okay, we're into it, folks. Don't forget to get your predictions in if you'd like to put something on the line. It's a little, it's a little fun to have something, you know, be invested in the games. And it's fun to support the homies, too. Um, so right now we have 7,000 on Arnando and zero for Space Dog. Well, zero for Space Dog. So I'm saying it's a steal. Because Space Dog has been looking good. Beat Jasper today. So already, like, it's not the same matchup. But good versus a, uh, a Wave Dash character. Ooh. Okay, this is a kill. Sheesh. Okay, I think all the ICs are in this tournament. <laughs> kind of good at the ledge there. <laughs> nice. I was saying I was really impressed with Space Dog already, just because they beat Jasper, and they were looking pretty good in the first 30 seconds, but that one punish made me reconsider everything. Ooh, trying to figure out how to get off ledge, as Marth, it's not that obvious. You know, actually, this stage usually feels pretty good for Marth, um, just because he can cover all the platforms and juggle really well, but right now it's looking really good for Arnando, just like, it's so hard for Space Dog to have room. My point my whole 700? Sorry, Ethan. Is my next match on stream as well? Um, we are going to be watching losers after this uh, until losers semis. So if you want to play on stream, you have to wait. Um, but you, you two, whoever is the winner of this match and you can decide that if you want to play on, on stream and wait or just play off stream. It's because of the tournament, like, you know, by 10 minutes if you play off stream. So it doesn't really matter. I see, they fuel their hatred. Something like that. Ooh, really nice edge guarding. I really like that, actually. Like, you just rarely see Icy's grab ledge because of the weird stuff with uh, the secondary climber. Oh, beautiful. Nice. That was really nice. I like this. Also, um, one thing I'm remembering is, I've watched this matchup before, and I think most smarts actually don't play it on the ground as much. They actually play it more on the platforms. And then you can use shield drop fair and, like, runoff fair and stuff like that. It's really good um, just to protect in front of you. But right now, it, it's like the platforms are kind of at an awkward height. It's fought, right? So... Okay. Wow, that damage is actually really good just from getting the max pummels. It, it's pretty powerful. Okay, yeah, I think we're going to see Icy's winner's finals at this rate. No one voting for Space Dog. Someone could take all of the 24k points. I'm just saying. Bong Slayer, thanks for the follow. Nobbling. You know, I've heard about this, and I said, I, one time I said the word nobbling, and people thought I was joking, or like that it's not a thing. So I second yes, and I never looked it up. Can you explain what nobbling is? <laughs> is? Is it basically just like handoffs? It's like a similar, like, long combo where you are doing throw stuff? I mean, I, okay, that's obviously a simplified version, but... Ooh, that ledge grab was super cool. Uh, 
Nice, right, gets to kill Nana. And now, you know, you suddenly think Space Coop or Space Dog is doing really well here. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I thought it was, uh, never mind. Because I played with um, ENFP once, and ENFP was doing something. I can't remember what the name was, but okay, it's something else then I'm thinking of. Why is it called Nobbling? Is there some player named Nobble? Well, thank you for the information, both of you. I I swear there's something else I'm thinking of, but I, I don't know the name of it then. Because it was basically like a really good punish, because I play Puff, so it was a really good punish on Puff that they were telling me they could do. Because it's not Wobbling? Nice. Yes, and I would say Arnando does Nobble because we saw the the grab release from it, and I think it was because of the max pummels. But, ooh, yeah, Space Coop getting grabbed here out of that air dodge. It's supposed to be a wave land, I'm sure. Ooh, nice. Yeah, as um, someone versing Arnanda, you might realize, like, oh, wow, they're pummeling a lot. Maybe I can mash out. Maybe I'll, like, get a counterattack from it. So it's good to be aware of that. And yeah, Space Dog really, I mean, I know you can't listen to the stream, but if you're listening later, I would recommend trying to use the platforms a little bit more. You know, make ICs approach you when you have more control. Like, the ground, they are pretty threatening with grab and smash attacks, and the projectiles are on the ground as well. Ooh, nice. Down tilts, stuffing out pretty well. Nice punish, whiffed up tilt there. Beast dog cog the cog. What? <laughs> wow, this is turn around, and we're gonna grab by the ledge. Is this gonna be a punish? I mean, a full punish? It was pretty full. Oh, nice. Okay, Arnando looking really powerful with these grab combos. Yeah, living at 155%, it's really looking like an Arnando dub. Let's see if Space Dog can take this one stock here. Pretty much any good edge guard or a down tilt should be able to finish it out. But great sweet spot from Arnando. Wow, Space Dogs punishes the like ledge dash, you know, wave land onto the platform there. Now both Ice Climbers to deal with again. Wow, crazy upbeat to the ledge. Another close one. This dog's still in it, but it's so scary here. Yeah, it's like, who do you attack? I would have gone to top lap there. Just cause like, if you're like, I mean, maybe you have to take some risks, but top lap is something you could really utilize some more as space dog there or, or the side plats in general. Like if you're gonna go to the battlefield, it's something to play around with. I mean, I really don't know how good it is, but I see a lot of Mars doing it, so it seems pretty central. Okay. So, well played. Arnando going to be moving on to winners finals versus Bist. No one voted for Space Bot Dog, so no one had a chance to even steal those points. Everyone was very confident. Okay. Um, let's see who we got here. I think we'll watch Jasper and Pizza Steve. And then Arnando Bist, you can play if you want. Kmart with the raid. Oh my god. Thank you, Kmart. Shout out, Kmart. What's up to Zach for me? Oh, it's like, say what's up to Zach for me? Well, hello, my love. <laughs> If your friend, uh, or no, if you're interested in Fire Emblem or sometimes some melee stuff, sometimes some other fighting game stuff, um, check out Kmart. He's a friend of the stream, super nice guy. But welcome, welcome. We're 
we're towards the end of the tournament, so you're gonna watch some pretty pretty high level beginner melee, you know. These these people make it to the end of the tournament, they're no slouches. Pizza Steve versus Jasper. And you know, I'm thinking Kay has probably played Pizza Steve at least a couple times, I feel like. Um, Jasper? I don't know if Kay's played Jasper, but this is lower quarters. So the loser of this gets fifth place. Yeah, Kay, you missed it. I had so many internet issues earlier today. You could have been in here to call me a lag switcher, no. But... You know, actually, I know what it is. Mukavo, I think we hung out one time and it infected my computer. Oh, Mukavo, you're here! I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. What? What's up, Mukavo? What? How, how's it going? Anyways, uh, back to the match. That was a crazy grab. Nice follow-up. Yeah, this matchup's really interesting to me. I mean, they, uh... I, oh, the two hits of the down smash hit. I'm pretty sure these two played recently and they had a close set. But I do think Jasper won. I'm actually going to look that up right now. I, I know they played recently. Yeah, they played last week, and actually it was a 2-0 for Jasper, but the last time they played before that, it was a 2-1 for Pizza Steve. So these two have back and forth sets, honestly. Jasper looking good though, and you know, honestly, this is a stage, uh, I would say that- Ooh, nice! Uh... Okay, we're still fine. Okay, still in it. Ooh! Uh... It's fine, just game one for the Pizza Steve fans, just a warm-up game. I was talking about this earlier, but Pizza Thieve does have some of those SD moments. I mean, you know, you have them, right? Just in Melee players, in general, if you play Fast Fathers, sometimes more. But Pizza Thieve, I would say it's been happening less recently, but today we might see some SDs. So Pizza Thieve's gonna need to clean some of that up. Like, I would say, in my opinion, it's fine to go though for those versus Luigi. Like, I feel like Luigi doesn't really reversal you that hard compared to like Marth or something, that's scary. Um, so, like, especially because Luigi recovers real- Ooh, that one's unfortunate. Maybe you thought, uh, Pizza Steve was too low or something. Ooh! But yeah, Luigi's recovery, predictable. Like, you can get it versus the missiles, I think. And other opportunities, just when you know he has to, like, double jump or anything like that, or LP. Yeah, I actually seeded Jasper number one for this tournament, but Jasper did get taken out by... Ah, nice edge guarding though. That was actually well-timed. Um, Jasper did get taken out by Space Dog the Marth, who Arnando just beat. So they might be playing in uh, Losers. Who knows? Yes, I've smashed this. Ooh, I thought that was going to kill actually. The narrow version is unfortunate. Ooh, no double jump here! Yeah, that was really risky. Like, Pizza Steve had a weird thing there. Like, they ran off the platform, then double jumped. So then it was like, they didn't have their double jump afterwards. So, it's gonna be a 2-0 for Jasper. Gonna take it and um, move on in the tournament. Well played, Pizza Steve, though. Pretty solid, fifth place. Okay. Now we're gonna get Space Dog and Ace Box. I think they probably have started, maybe? Let's see. Jasper was cooking.
Okay, we'll get a prediction on this one actually. Ace Box versus Space Dog. I am pretty curious. I feel like Ace Box should be favored, but I have seen Ace Box lose to Mark before. And I think it, it's definitely going to puff some more volatile matchups. I would say this and Fox are the two volatile ones. It's because Fox and Mark are pretty good. <laughs> but so is Buff, you know. So that's why it's volatile both ways. Okay, predictions open. Space Dog or Ace Box? Please get your points in. I know you want to gamble. And if you don't want to gamble, come on, it's just free points. It's not real money. Just have fun with it. Okay, so while that's going on, I'm going to update the overlay as well. Ace Box. Space Dog. Melo says, dude, these points are my life. Thank you for being honest with yourself. I think that if the world was as honest as Melo Box, it'd be a fun time. Um, okay, green, puff, and then blue, Marth. Here we go. We're into it, folks. Marth versus puff. I honestly think this is a really interesting matchup. Like, there is like really good punch potential from the Mars um, versus Puff, and of course Puff has good punish pretty much versus any everyone because she can edge guard and rest. Um, but yeah, like Martha is actually one of the characters who has a really good punish game. The potential just for the throw combos and DI mixups is leading to kills is like pretty good like if you can execute on all the stuff and and get a good read in or get a good call out um you can make it work for a total stock one thing i will say is i feel like rest is pretty rare in this matchup except for an edge guard let's see how this goes yeah here i would marth killer it's tough because puff's jump squad is also like pretty you know long it's falco's it's high frame oh no jumps um, so, yeah, like, her Marth killer and then her, her start of her aerials, like, if she wants to bear, it doesn't feel good either. So, a lot of times, when they're too high and they could recover to ledge or air dodge or something, I, I don't like doing the Marth killer. I feel like, generally, you don't want to do the Marth killer, except as the mix-up there. Try to get the 100k points. Yeah, Arnando, what you don't know is I keep raising the amount it costs to have the special name, because I want to keep it special, but people keep, people keep buying it. So you can blame everyone who bought it before. They've increased the price. Which is Clavin and then... or Cal Yeah, I think it's Clavin. It's been so long since I've seen them, actually. And then Jaggernaut bought it. And then one other person bought it. I can't remember who right now, though. Oh, I think Hawk Boss. Ooh, here's a rest. I said they're rare, but that was a rare one. Like, just normally it's so hard for Puff to get in. If the Mars is willing to throw out some hitboxes, you know, you can really protect yourself in the range Puff likes. Like, Puff's Descending Bear can really be hit out by, um, by Marth doing Wall and Fares. Spacebox showing they can do some pivots, so maybe Acebox should be scared. The thing is, you don't always need pivots, though. There are some kill setups from throws where you can just down throw in the nest. <laughs> I like that. She's so saying I should find their addresses? No, 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 no. <laughs> nice up there. Not gonna kill yet. You think maybe one more will do it, though. Plus that 140. Okay, no dump, double jump there. Ace Box solidly in the lead here. This feels like a pretty tough comeback to make. Where is Space Dog going to find the kill? It has to be an S smash here, up tilt, up air. Okay, there's the fair. Down throw, down smash is my best friend. I don't know if I've ever seen down throw, down smash. I've seen F throw, down smash. Ooh, ooh, is that connected? I kind of feel like that. Maybe Space Dog could jump out of that. Like, the reason I also said that it doesn't really. Um, you don't see as many rest setups. I feel like Marth, from my experience, I just feel like Marth's harder to hit with rest than, than Sheik. Like, I feel like he can jump out more. IMO. I think it might be true. Like, just his, like, weight or, like, falling speed, that type of thing. Like, I just think that 
up air arrest. It's just like harder connect to connect on Mars. IMO. Anyways, the predictions are over. We got some bets on Space Dog. Nice, the underdog here. And some on Acebox. I mean, majority 26k. That's a lot. I'm sorry all the Acebox fans are going to lose it. If, you know, Space Dog dub. We'll see. I am all in on Space Dog. All of your channel points. That sounds like a mellow move, for sure. I mean, to be fair, their tag is Space Dog. I feel like that's like a mellow tag. It's not It's not as good as... um. What was the one you had that like Subtails gave you the idea for? Oh, it was like Bong Soldier. <laughs> it's not like that, but Space Dog, I feel like embodies, you know, Fox and I don't know, it's just kind of, that's a nice tag. Okay, we're on Yoshi's, um, probably the most volatile stage in the matchup. Here's a rest, maybe? Okay, because you can just get way earlier kills than normal, and they feel kind of random, just because, you know, a non tuper F smash could kill, a rest could kill at zero as well. The up tilts and up airs from Martha are also going to do more work on this stage. I would do down throw here, yeah. And I would not usually go for aerials. Like, if possible, you want to kind of try to greet it. Like, you should try to get an F smash, even if it's not a tipper. If you could just get a dash um, and then, like, crouch F smash, that could be really good as a kill, maybe. Nice. Acebox has been pretty good about getting Acebox or Space Dog to shield in the corner. And then Acebox has all the control. Just a bear. And like, if you're high enough percent as Mara, that's really scary. Acebox with a couple F smashes in a row. Now Space Dog's got to look out for it. Acebox is pretty good about not being super obvious with it, though. I feel like he's able to hit a lot of people with F smash. Oh, that was a rest opportunity, really. Wow, they are playing by the ledge. It's pretty scary. Gets a tipper F smash. While they cross each other up. That is something you really don't want to happen. Uh, I would say from the Mars side. And that's why this stage is also not that bad for Puff. Because you can easily get crossed up with the small stage. If they get behind you, it's less like, oh my god, what do I protect myself with? Yeah, not even going to kill yet. Maybe now Tipper will F smash would kill, but... It's going to be hard to find that raw Tipper unless you do a setup for it. Okay, there was a raw, raw, raw tipper F smash, but it was on the F ma on a pound, so that spacing was pretty crazy. Okay, this is pretty doable. This is actually kill percent from a tipper F smash here. Oh, that could have been another the same thing that happened last stock, but rest is also deadly here. <laughs> Ray tech roll in. That was so scary. How did I grab whiff? I like the down air of shield. It's pretty good versus off TBH. When you're in those awkward positions. Nice, really good side B. Yeah, barely gets there. Wow. That was closer than I thought it was gonna be. Tipper F smash or Ooh, the crowds the side B. That was really nice. Good, really good awareness cross there. Okay, well played. Space Dog gonna end up also in fifth place with Pizza Steve, but great run. I think that's Space Dog's first top eight. They've been to a couple of alums um, every now and then. I recognize the tag for sure, but well played. Oh no, Mello. It happens. We go into debt in this economy. Um, Winner was Ace Box. Okay, now um, at Ace Fox and Jasper, we're going to hop over to Winner's Finals.
Oops, I tapped. Mm -hmm. JP Thrasher, thanks for the follow. We're just watching a melee tournament that we're running. So we got winner's finals up now. It's Arnando versus Bist. So an icy ditto in uh, winner's finals. You know, I think these two played in pools, actually. I'm pretty sure Bist won. Um, so this will be a fun rematch to see if there's any adaptions, adaptations or if they know each other already. Winner's finals. Um, Bist, Arnando. And it's also really interesting because the normal Icy's Punish stuff isn't as present. You know, I've been really complimenting both these Icy's players about like their handoffs by the ledge, all that stuff. But you really don't see this as much in the Icy's Ditto because if there's a long combo going on, the other Ice Climber might interrupt it. And as the one getting comboed, you hope your Ice Climber will save you. Or maybe you can do something. I have no idea. We'll see. Okay, Arnando in the red. And this portrait, I hate how this portrait looks. Like in game, it's actually like a maroon. It's like a reddish purple. But then on the character portrait, it's like orange. I, I really don't get why it's so different. Okay, but the prediction is open. And then I'm gonna tell um, them that we're also ready. Bist, um, Arnando. Broadcast looks good. Good luck, have fun, can start whenever. Oh, I'm pretty sure I've said this before. I think that's not orange, but I want to go to the doctor. Is it really not orange? Can someone tell me what color they think this is then? Like, the Arnando's Ice Climber, it looks orange to me, but... But I have been told... Oh wow, people think that's red? But it, you you can agree, it looks so different than the, the in-game model, right? Oh my god, I already know, I don't know what's happening, this is crazy. It's red? Everyone thinks it's red? Oh my god. Wow. I mean, I've been told before that I uh, don't have good color perception, but that's very interesting to me. Anyways, we're already getting a lot of smash stacks, and Bist pulls ahead to the lead. It looked like a weird up situation from Arnando. Oh! Again, Arnando's timer's dead. I talked about this before, no double jump here, but when you can kill the, the secondary climber, the matchup becomes so much more simple, and Bist has been able to do that really quickly on the second stock here, so you actually do get the advantages of, the sol of Ice Climbers again, like the Crazy Punish, maybe? Okay, never mind, we're back to 101. Mono a mono. Hammer a hammer. That's what we're seeing here. No double hammers, just a single one. You mean the character icons, right? Looks oranges to me. I mean the portrait in the left corner, like Arnando, where it says Arnando. I think that looks orange to me. But also, yeah, the stock icons look pretty orange to me too. But that's a different color. Okay, never mind. Dean Barney immediately says, oh, wait, you're so wrong. I mean, I'm not trying to jinx it, but I do think the Ices have a good chance to win this tournament when I'm looking at who's left. Jasper and Acebox. Well, actually, I think both of them could could win versus these Ice Climber players. But I will jinx it by saying I'm pretty sure we haven't had an Ice Climber winner yet. We also haven't had a Luigi in a really long time. And it's been a while from Puff, too, actually, so... I guess ever anyone's a winner here. Ooh, calls out the bad ledge refresh. I mean, that wasn't bad. Ice Climbers, what else can you really do? I want to see Sopo versus Sopo, last stock game free. What's up? Nice kill there. There's a full stock ahead, but 
I will say Arnando had that weird, really weird first two stocks. So this seems like a doable game if things went a little bit smoother in that off-state situation. <laughs> well, uh, Brody, I hope you have fun playing chess. Ooh, these combos look pretty nice. Arnando looking for kills at the ledge, like, just happened on the previous stock, but... It's also hard to challenge people at the ledge. Like, even if it's Ice Climbers, it seems like... Just now, on the right side, Arnando was not able to find a non-invincible timing. Okay, that's gonna be the kill, I think. Bish takes it pretty solidly, although I really wasn't looking closely at the first part of that game. I wonder what happened on the left side. Okay, I missed the start of this game, and we still have a solo climber. This, I think I'm missing something, you know. I, when I don't look at this, the stream, it's usually a blessing and a curse for some players. Okay, very interesting. Wait, I was going to say, are both Ice Climbers still alive? No, it's just Bist. Just the one climber for Bist. Which means, still in a pretty decent state for Arnando. Who gets a grab it by the corner? Wow, the up smash reverses in a really weird way there. That was really interesting. Punishes the ledge dash. Okay. Great sweet spot recovery there. And wow, really pr tricky movement. Okay, Arnando's still in it here. Ooh, I like the wave lands on the top platform. It's pretty safe for Ice Climbers, as, as Arnando would know. Oh, Nana! She died there! Why? Yeah, anyone who's watched the long stream knows I have, like, Nana secondary climber rage. Like, I'm like, I, don't, I still get why she dies sometimes. Why the secondary climber dies, I, I feel it's just bad. Like, she died there? Okay, this gets that kill. 3-2 to two here, Anano opens up the stock with a blizzard grab. And pretty good percent. They're, they're split up as well. Oh, oh my. I think I got confused on who was who, because I'm looking at the stock counts again, and Arnando down almost two stocks right now. Been separated this whole stock, really. The, and the Ice Climber died there. It's just Arnando Sopo. Wow, another kill potentially. It was really good DI from Arnando to live, but this is looking so good for Bist. Okay, nice. Arnando uses some ledge dash invincibility to get a punish there. Well done. Yeah, one thing Arnando has not been able to do is punish ledge. Look, um, this has been going to this, like, maybe the past four times in a row, and Arnando has not tried to punish it, or, like, hasn't found a way to. Maybe, maybe it's really hard, but, like, if they're doing it and you can read it, it might be worth going for the punish. Arnando on the last stock here, but has both climbers available. Ooh, that's gonna be it. This takes it 2-0 over Arnando. So it's looking at, like if they meet again, Arnando's really going to have to find some adaptations between these sets. 
So well played, well played. Bis takes it 2-0. Choose outcome, Bis. Okay. Now we're going to go to lower semis. Jasper versus ace blocks here. And we're going to have another five-minute prediction. Okay, it's open right now. Let me tag both of ace blocks and Jasper. You're up. Please button check. Ooh, we got all floaties left, actually. It's Luigi Puff, Icy's Icy's. That's pretty classic, actually. Sometimes you just see those tournaments where it's just all floaties. We're still playing chess. That's funny. Your, your last minute message was we're playing chess right now, and then now we're still playing chess, lol. Well, okay. Uh, I'm requesting that you pause your game, because you're making everyone else wait, then, if you continue to play. I checkmated it. Nice. Okay. Well, we are looking forward to having your gameplay. So good luck. Have fun. Okay, we got Eastbox broadcast. Pulling it up. There is three minutes left in the prediction, folks. One classic coming up. You know, I feel like this is a classic, but I actually don't know for sure. This is a Colorado classic for sure, for sure. Ooh, this is a classic. These two are four and four in sets, actually. They played eight times. Um, most of them at Lom, but a couple in-person events, too, because they're both Colorado. And the most recent time was one week ago. Jasper won 2-1 over Ace Fox. So, Boris was right. I shouldn't have doubted. It's it's a Lom classic. It's a banger. Okay, the broadcast looked good. And then we have the overlay set up, and the prediction is going, too. That was Jasper Mart 2. Oh, wait, at um, Michael's Melee Monday? You're right. I remember now that there's some Marth involved in these sets, too. Or sometimes I see the Jasper Marth. Well, let's pull it over streamer right now. Uh, let me see this shout out. Pull it over. Let's pull it over streamer right now. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, looks like pull it over is streaming. If you want to watch grand finals and amateur, pull it over versus Bam in grand finals. It's also pretty hype set over there too, and I think both of them probably will tr should try out main next time. But yeah. Over here, we are back in Losers. Oh my god. It was a whiffed grab, actually, that got rested. And Jasper lives. Okay. We're basically like, no rest ever happened. It was just a little bit of percent. I've also watched Jasper play a lot now. And I really noticed Jasper goes out a lot for these edge guards, which versus Puff is pretty scary. Maybe you can get some early kill. Oh my god. <laughs> it was the start of the up smash. Okay. Well, we got two rests <laughs> and pretty insane game so far. If you're new to Ace Box, if you're new to level one melee, Ace Box is kind of the resident rester. Ooh, really good start so far. Oh wow, Luigi went too low there. I'm I don't know if Jasper thought uh they had a jump or something or what really went on. Oh, here's another rest opportunity. Yeah, wow. Ace Box blew open this game. Unfortunate for Jasper that it was like a missed execution thing that led to a stock there. Full stock behind now. It's possible, but you gotta play pretty well to make this dub. Kyle, what's up? This is scary. Ah! You hate to see that. But it is the price of playing on the ledge. You gotta be good with your execution otherwise it is a high chance to die over there off stage as well but yeah kyle hope you've been doing well thanks for tuning in
We are on FD, and this would be my stage of choice as well, um, as Luigi. I just think the long range gives you more room to outmaneuver horizontally. Whew, scary. Can't get rested really, or you don't expect to get rested like that, up air rest, but it can still be really painful to get juggled for a couple up airs. Yeah, that's one thing I would also look out for. You know, Acebox is so good at finding some of these F-Smash kills, um, but Grab is not that scary from Puff, so maybe it's worth shielding a little bit more. Okay, gets uh, back to stage and gets an opportunity to do some more damage here with stage control. It's kind of hard to edge guard Puff, though. Like, you know, basically, most characters can't do it. So, ooh, wow, really good finisher there. Caught Acebox with the wrong DI on for that down throw. Really good damage, 60%. Not enough to kill Puff, really, but, you know, it'll add up. Yep, and that's what I'm talking about. If you're... Oh, wow, that killed! Okay, Jasper looking really good this game. The chances of winning are very high, I feel like. Okay, Jasper always going low. Something Acebox can maybe catch on to as well. Hey, Jasper's slowly building up this lead here. Ooh, beautiful from Acebox. It was actually- what? Wow, Acebox really rested that. Is this a kill? Wow, I didn't think that would kill. Okay, Acebox got the rest, but it really just pushed us closer to the end of the game where Acebox is down a full stock. So, well played. Okay, stuck in the corner here. This- the Acebox situation, where your opponent is shielding in the corner and you're just- you're just- you're very menacing with these descending full up bears. Well, that's another kill? Wow, the misfire really did not work out there. Okay, suddenly, you know, this game has gone so back and forth. Uh, now, I don't really have anything to say. We're just going to enjoy it. Okay, this box starting to enter kill percent here. Nothing will kill from one move, but it's getting closer and closer here. Jasper, on the other hand, this damage is really good from Puff's POV, too, though. All this is going to lead to an edge guard, like here. But we haven't seen any real successful edge guards so far. Pretty much all of them have made have ended up with Jasper surviving. No double jump here. Gets ledge, though. Punishes the ledge dash after it ends. Very scary. Is okay. Luigi's living here. I think any smash attack might kill, but goes for an aerial there when Puff's spacing. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was actually so close. Okay, Acebox takes it two zero over Jasper. Right? I'm not. I'm not, I'm not crazy. Yeah, Acebox two zero over Jasper. Okay, now we get Ace Box and Arnando. So we'll play to Jasper. Solid run to fourth after getting knocked into losers pretty early, um, but still makes a good run. Got some rest clips? Yeah, I clipped them. I clipped at least one. Okay, we got another prediction coming up here. It's the second to last one of the night, maybe. Lower finals. It's going to be Ace Box and Arnando. Okay, that is open now. Predictions up. I'm on the broadcast. Arnando says, could you give me like three minutes? So we're going to chill. For three minutes while you all put in your points for the prediction and all that stuff your rare opportunities to gamble it's going down the number of chances you have left 
Also, I guess while we're here, um, let me check in on the amateur bracket. Ooh, yeah. I'll, sit, I'll summon the link one more time. It looks like it's going to be a game three or something, or at least game two over an amateur bracket. They are in the grand finals reset over there. It's game three. It's actually game three. I guess we'll watch this. <laughs> we'll watch the ending of this, and then we'll, we'll say hi. So yeah, I sent the stream the link to Coldstream there. Go give Cold a follow. Um, they help out the stream. He helps out the stream like... He helps us stream long sometimes and stream the the playoffs and all that stuff, so a good friend to us. Well, it's really close over there. It's actually the exact matchup we just saw. It's uh, FD Puff Luigi. It's actually the same colors, too. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty good colors. Okay, let me do the Chrome playback. Let me do a quick vote. Okay. Well, that's going to be an edge guard. Trap Lord 420, aka what is their tag again? <laughs> it's like, um, oh, that's gonna be the end. Okay. Bams takes it 2-1 over quilled over. And we're going to go back to our bracket. Okay. Um Ace box or Nando? I think I have your broadcast open. But we're still waiting for Arnando, right? Okay, then the other thing I guess I'll do while we're just chilling here is there's two minutes left in the prediction, by the way, if anyone wants to vote. No one on Ace box right now? Put your points in. There's only 200 for Arnando as well. I know people have the points out there. The Monopoly is not all in me. I guess I have infinite points, though. Okay, nice. 10 for Ace Box. Gonna steal all of the Arnando Believers points. Nice. There's one minute left in the prediction. You can really steal a lot of points by voting Ace Box here, by the way. Or just supporting Ace Box. Or supporting Arnando by voting for whatever. Are you guys um connected in game? Are you two? Xbox and Rondo? Am I just missing it somehow? I mean it says you stage struck. Maybe the broadcast is not working. Okay, we got the broadcast working. Perfect. Okay, Arnando Ace Box. Overlay looks good to me. Lore finals. We got the prediction going. Wizard says Woj, so I think we're ready. Welcome. Let's have a good uh, set. Good luck, Acebox and Arnando here. Is this Acebox first top three? I don't think so. I feel like Acebox has gotten third before. I can't remember if Acebox has been in grand finals, though. 
It might actually be Acebox's first top three, though. I don't know. Acebox have definitely gotten fourth and fifth a bunch. But Acebox could actually win this because I'm pretty sure Acebox had a really close set with Bist. And I think Acebox is not that bad versus Ices. I think Neptune is kind of a bracket demon for Acebox at the moment. Maybe, from what I remember. But, like, look at this. Nice edge guarding. Ooh, I would not have hit the Ice Climber over there just in case they could help each other recover. Like, it's, it's actually better to separate them there, I feel. But, working out here. One Ice Climber dead. Smash Attack might kill here. Nah, 75%. I think it's okay. Beautiful. Okay, Ace Box. Playing this well. Really good job waiting out the invincibility. You worry that, especially beginner players, ooh, the fair, weak fair, really risky there. You worry that beginner players don't really know how to deal with invincibility. It's pretty common, like, people just run in or, like, don't really know what to do, and they trap themselves in the corner, or, like, you know, they just give up their double jump or something like that. But Acebox played that really well, using Puff's strengths. Ooh, Arnando! That one hurts. It's a stock lead now. Acebox played me for third one time, but you won that. Okay, so then... Wait, if you won that, did you get third? Or he, he got third? I think he got third then. Because you got... I don't know. <laughs> I can't even remember. <laughs> Wait, I think he, I think he got third. Because you got second losing the LHM, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do remember that. Thank you. Ooh, another SD. Arnando, a little bit off with these ledge dashes. I think the other one was also like a ledge dash or a weird air dodge. Acebox playing up pretty safe, except some of these aerials are at low percent are really turning into return kills. So Acebox needs to clean that up. Arnando needs to clean up the ledge play. Yeah, your last stock, you're at 50% as ice climbers, that's tough. Because just like any hit is going to separate the two climbers. I mean, if you have a massive punish game, maybe you can get away with it. Let's see it. Pretty good percent, but not the kill. I do think Acebox is being a little bit careless. Maybe because he has the lead. Ooh, wow. DBZ for the climbers. Maybe because he has the lead, but it really did seem like Arnando, if, if Arnando held down a little bit more, could get even more reversals um, versus a lot of these weak aerials. Woj. What's up, wizard? Here to support Acebox. Nice. Well, Acebox, doing well so far. And yeah, this is Loser's Finals, as you can see from the overlay. So, guaranteed top three. Acebox still in it to win it. I also am down to see a game three. We're pretty good on time. Well, I guess we're reasonable. <laughs> Probably average. Okay, I think we're just waiting to see if this is broken or something. What's happening here? Let me try to reload their broadcast and see. Okay. Okay, we're back. I wonder if they disconnected too or something. Arnando went to Venom. Ah. Oh, maybe my stream crashed. Yeah, because I was on Die Melee. That's funny. Okay, we're back. So Arnando chose Stadium. Pretty normal counter pick, just because we talked about this before. Ices are they have offensive options when you're grounded. So attacking your landings is good. The stage doesn't have as much platform coverage and pretty low ceiling. So if you can get throw combos into up smash off the top, it can be earlier kills than normal. Ooh, 
Here's a good kill opportunity. Really nice. And how is Arnando going to play this lead? So far, pretty cautiously, which is good. That's a grab. How much percent is this going to be? 20% could be worse. Wow, the back airs barely missed Jigglypuff there. It's a grab. Almost kills. So scary. Ace box? IMO? I, I basically never use Nair in this matchup. Like, Nair and Fair? Not that much. Well, okay. Fair you can use sometimes. Like, that, that will find Fair. But, like, in pure neutral. Okay. Pretty nice recovery from Arnando, except Nana died, which is unfortunate. Nice time on that smash. Ace Fox woke up in a new Bugatti. True. Okay, Ace Fox doing really well here. Like, basically, you know, Arnando's looking for, like, a down smash or, like, you know, a smash attack that could kill. So, spacing really well outside that. Eventually gets caught with a back air. That killed. So that was also a really good recognition from Arnando. Acebox not given the smash attacks, so gotta try something else. Beautiful. Arnando reads that um, full out pattern and gets underneath. Ooh, here's a deadly edge guard. Wow, that kills! Arnold tried to get out of it by DAing out, I think. And now we're in an even game. Okay, playing this pretty well. I like Ace Box. You know, you know, even on Stadium, I was talking about there's low platform coverage, but even the platforms are low, so um, I see they're not bad at cha challenging these Stadium platforms. So Ace Box has it in the landing. This is gonna be a kill. I'll smash off the top. Yeah. Wow, Polier the Marth player. Cool. Lots of Colorado crowd, and ooh, nice rest. I mean, is it worth it? I don't know. But it was sick. Okay, now Ice Box building up some damage here. This is getting harder to come back from. Um, especially because, you know, when Ices are back there next stock, it can be pretty tricky to get a full stock in without getting some trades in. I mean, normally it's the other way around, like you say that for Puff, but it's all I've just somewhat true for Ices. Wow, lots of Woj. It, I, this must be a Colorado thing I'm missing out on. But welcome everyone. We're seeing Losers Finals of Level 1 Melee here. So these competitors both came pretty far in this tournament. Wow, <laughs> that's funny. Back air reversed, kill off the top. Not a normal interaction, but a fun one. Woj actually stands for Woj. Not many people that know that. Thank you. Sayrin TV. What is up with Broad Solid Kind of Field Ices? I think the thing is, there's just Ices players that come to LOM. So there's Arnando, who's in Losers Finals right now, versus Ace Box. There's Bist, who's waiting in Winners fi Grand Finals. And then there's also like Neptune, who plays Ices, who's not here this week. Um, so there's a good amount of Icy players who are just like good enough. They make it far in these tournaments, and so does Ace Box. So you play the same people. Gets a in the corner. Is this going to convert? Nana up the roads there. Ooh, yeah, if you're Ace Box there, if you can drop through the platform, when Nana's off stage, like, a lot of times she just double jumps back, and if you can just hit her out of the double jump, it's really almost always a, a Nana kill, which is so powerful. Who does Ace Box go for? Ace Box goes for Solo Climber there. Yeah, another thing um, Ace Box has been doing is a lot of rising aerials from full hop, so it's been stuffing Arnando wave dashing in. But if Arnando can kind of outspace that, those approaching rising aerials, maybe you can get underneath. Almost gets the up smash kill, but solo climber not going to be able to do it, I guess. I kind of feel like it would kill now, but I don't know. Nice. Ace box outspaces that, gets the F smash kill. Okay. J flex too good. Thanks for the follow.
Ooh, reverse jab grab. That was nice looking. Dev dog, what's up? I hope you've been well. I know it's been a while since we talked. Ooh, what's the combo gonna be here? Starting from 10%, gets 20%, a little more, 40%, nice. Ooh, grab by the corner. That kills! I don't know if Acebox di that perfectly or if it was just a surprise to get hit that early. Or if that actually just kills always. That was crazy. Now Arnando in the lead here in game three, right? Yeah, this is definitely game three because we were just on stadium. Ooh, another grab. This is turning deadly. Acebox really running into these jabs. Like, remember what I was saying earlier? Acebox doing the full op fares. But now Arnando is like wave dashing back, outspacing them and attacking the landings. Ooh, actually caught the landing there again. Arnano rolled behind Ace Box to get that landing. And this is doable, though. It, it is Ice Climbers, you know. You can have perfect stock versus Ice Climbers. Like, that is totally a thing. But this damage is building up. The landings... Oh! That was nice, but... Is it worth it? Okay, it was pretty worth it. Okay, he's watching doing really well here, honestly. The jab grabs are really been... They've been really putting a lot of work. That The next one is going to kill from a double up smash. And, oh my god, Ace Box, if you're listening to this, those nares, they're scary to me. Oh, spacing pretty well, though. Oh, Ace Box goes for another crazy rest. Okay, and Arondo takes it. 2-1 over Ace Box there. That was still a good set, though. I enjoyed it very much. Well played. Okay. We're going to get a rematch of, win grand fi rematch of Winter Finals in Grand Finals. It's going to be Grand Finals set one. It's an icy ditto. So if you ever want to see that, you come to the right place. It's Bist versus Arnando. And the people in the chat who were here earlier, they know. This is looking like the favorite in this matchup. We'll have to see if Arnando was able to change anything in this next set. So we put Arnando L. Grand Finals. It's going to be Bist over here as the other ICs. Bist from Winners. And I think Arnando's going red, Ice Climbers. Okay, now that we have a lot of people here, you got to take risks sometimes, you know? It is true. Yeah. Um... Now that we have a lot of people here, I can ask, do people really think the left side is red? That that the character portrait is red? It's so interesting to me. It looks so orange to me. Ace Box, you do have clips. I know we've been clipping some of them. I hope other people have been clipping it as well, because there are a lot of Ace Box supporters in here. It's so red. Oh my god. I, I guess my color perception is really bad. I have to I have to acknowledge it now. If Dev Dogs and Ed are telling me, they're not trolling me. They're not trolls. I have to believe them. Unfortunate, my color perception. It's almost like extremely red. No, don't say that, Ed. <laughs> oh my god. And basically, I always wondered why they call this the Red Ice Climbers. Because to me, it looks... I mean, okay, it's more bright, it's more neon than Red Orange Fox, but it's like kind of like that to me. Anyways, while we also have people here, this is more important, actually. Um, did you know LOM has a fundraiser for Transgender Law Center? They are a nonprofit that helps trans rights in legislature. And they also provide, like... Like they support a uh, you know legislature that supports trans people having human rights in the U.S. and they also do like legal program and information for trans people just to know about their rights and name changes and all that stuff like that. So check out their website there if you're interested in donating a little bit of pocket change or whatever like that. You can check out our fundraiser. But yeah, that's my plug for this stream. Check it out there. And. Oh, I think I was on the wrong broadcast, which is why. Let's uh, make sure everyone, uh, we are watching this right broadcast here.
And then also, two minutes left in the prediction. Two minutes to vote. There are zero channel points right now. This, wait, and submissions. Oh, that's why. Delete. Wait, go back. Let me, okay. Let me delete this. I'll redo it. Start prediction. Uh, grand finals. Set one. Bis Arnando. We're going to do a two minute prediction. Yeah. Prediction's up. Bis versus Arnando, two minutes to get your points in. I know it's looking like a Bis dub, but the Arnando believers, the Duskies in chat, I know he said this week's the Arnando dub. So where's the points, Dusky? Do you still believe? Arnando is going neutral Falco, by the way. Really? Is that a real thing? Confirmed? But the broadcast is not showing me this. So are you guys in game? Are you two in game? Perhaps. Yeah, I think they're playing right now. Because <laughs> they're not responding to my Discord questions, so... Yep. Okay, we are in total suspense. I think I'm going to mark it as a tie so that we can get their attention. Top players SMH. These are top players. It's true. So I will SMH with you, DevDog. But yeah, hope everyone's been having a good night. It's been some pretty fun melee to watch. Some long veterans, some new faces. DevDog, when are you going to start branching out and running West Coast tournaments? We need you. Just kidding. Don't feel pressured. I'm just saying that, you know, if you ever did want to try it, there would be interest, I think. This is for all the West Coast players? Oh my! I didn't know it was like that. Just kidding. Is it one of those just kiddings, though, that's like, haha, I hate everyone, just kidding, <laughs> you know, but actually, no, just kidding. I believe it, Dev Dog. I don't know why you would hate the West Coast players. It's not like we're invading your tournament on Bad Connection, right? The next big West Coast TO is a future LOM champ, or past LOM champ, maybe. But that would be hype. I would support him. This is interesting though. The game must be going on a while. I think it's been at least two minutes since I reported as a tie. And they haven't said anything yet. 
So I wonder if it's like close or what. Like you would think that if the game goes on a long time, it's probably pretty close. Like it's not a blowout. I guess that's not always true, <laughs> but it it rule it rules out the instant blowout. The game lasting long is a good sign for Arnado. Yeah, that's kind of what I would think too. Because I feel like the Ices can delete you, but Falco, it's kind of rarer for that to happen. As, um, you know, Falco's combos like, take a long time. Even though he has Dare, which can be a stock ender, you know, the, generally Falco combos are long, drawn out things. Lasers, you know, are, lo are a long thing that, you know, take time to, you can use them to establish neutral and it like takes a while. Um, okay, they ignored my dispute. Well, okay, I reported it as, as Ty. Oh, I think I did it as Arnando. So Bist disputed it, which is fair, because it was not. Um, oh, no. <laughs> I think they're not seeing it. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll forcibly do this, then I'll reset it. Okay. No, no, I reset it. They, they have to notice now. So they're like, what? What happened? Okay, if they keep going though, I'm just gonna keep resetting it till they check Discord or. Okay, I'm watching them stage strike and stuff like that. Yeah, if they keep going, I'm gonna reset it again. Okay, they're keeping going. I'm gonna reset it one more time. <laughs> reset it, reset it. <laughs> this is pretty funny. I don't think I've had to reset things multiple times before. DevDog says, put me in, I'll broadcast. Thank you, DevDog. Okay, Arnando said, I restarted broadcast. Okay, so supposedly we have the broadcast now. And Arnando said, I will do the button check. Sweet. Okay, and as an update, Bis did win the first game. But I don't know what character they're going to go in the second one. Okay, still gonna be Falco. I mean, it's fair. Arnaldo did have two sets of ICs did us to try out, but now I'm gonna go with Falco, even at grand finals point. We're about to play game two right now. Nice. Okay, I heard it. Okay, looks good to me. Yeah, good luck, have fun. And they're going Battlefield, nice. So the last game we noted took a long time. So I wonder how this Falco is going to look. 
Right now, it's doing okay. Ooh, right and smash there. Nana's not gonna live unless um, this saves her. Okay. Wow, well, grabs the F smash there. Very interesting. Beautiful combo. That's gonna kill, isn't it? Wow. This got there just in time. Arnado might have even been a little too low, but... This is still looking pretty good. Oh, needed to F smash a second earlier there. Gets a job reset. Ooh, lots of text in from this too. Wow. Really good journey so far. Ooh, one of that. You didn't want to look really close from what I saw. Thank you, Dev Dog. This game is looking close too. Although 50% is pretty deadly. You you think Falco can actually die here from a smash attack in the corner or something like that? Okay. Yeah, and the bird doesn't look, you know, like like a main of Falco really would, but it's using some pretty smart game knowledge and definitely knowledge versus Ices to navigate this. It's looking doable, but still behind in this game, a full stock. Ooh, you can F-Smash there. Okay, actually F-Smash is to get the kill, so it was kind of worth it still. The missed air dots there, that hurts into getting killed for it. Icy's Dub imminent. I think we're about to witness the first Icy's Dub. Ever in long. Well, I mean, actually, probably ever in the game because they weren't added until 2023, right? Oh my god, this combo! Oh my god! That was. Oh my god. Can. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Let's give it up. Level 1 melee 61 champ is this, everyone. GG's. And of course, Arnando will play. A really solid second place. I, I think that might be Arnando's first second place ever. Um, so, really nice run. Beating Floppy Buns, Arnando beat Floppy Buns, H, Space Dog, and Ace Box to get here in some really close sets, too. Dang, Arnando, not the first Ice Season winning WOM. This too good. Yeah, this was good, for sure. But Arnando, nice second place. I, I feel like that might be your first second place, or maybe you've done it before, but that was nice. Need these, everyone, though. That was, a, that was a good amount of melee to watch and got some good clips, honestly. Mm I'm pretty sure. Well, nice then. Congrats on that first time doing that. Ices, fill me with such joy. Huzzah, says Spots. Acebox says good job too. Yeah, it was a nice run. There was really good punishes, and really the neutral seemed pretty good in the Ices Ditto in a lot of these matches too. Other matchups as well. Also, Bist, if you're listening, I sent you a DM on Discord. Is there a winner's interview or is it too late into the night? I just DM'd you on Discord. Check your DMs. We'll call there. That sounds perfect if you would like to do one. Of course, don't have to. I understand it's also late. So if you're not feeling it, you can just say that it's too late. Okay, we are going to be getting a winner's interview. We'll keep it short for everyone, of course. Um, but. Stick around for this. We'll have a little quick chat with Vist. GSK would hold the interview at 5 a.m. if he had to, and he probably will when Ace Box wins. I mean, if, if we get an Ace Box dub soon, I'm, I'll be down for a 5 a.m. interview.
GG once again, yeah, they're looking good sets. And honestly, the Falco, it, it had some good ideas too versus ICs. Like some of the S smashes were really nice, like as an edge guard. And I even think there was like one laser reset. It could have been really juicy. Okay, but we are waiting for some technical setup involving a mic, so sit tight for a little bit, and then we'll get the interview started. Rando says, I thought I did really good with my cross-up aerials. Oh yeah, that is super good. I mean, if you're doing anything like spacing outside of it or doing cross-ups to avoid, sh avoid shield grabs, it is very important and good, I would say. I was looking at who's streaming. It looks like we'll raid probably Mukabo tonight, I would think. I think we're we're due for this call. Oh. Okay, we're calling right now and we're also going to be doing a mic check. Hey Bist, um I see you're connected now. Could you say hello? I'm Bist, the level one melee champion, just so we can do a volume check. Hello, I'm Bist, the level one melee champion. <laughs> nice. Love the confidence. I, I think the volume looks good. Everyone in chat, you can tell me if too loud or too soft for Bist. Um, but yeah, congrats. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling great. I came in with kind of, uh, I don't know, I tried to like set low expectations on purpose. Like my my goal, because my the last time I entered I got grand finals was to get back in grand finals, but I tried to really just take it one thing at a time. And uh, I feel like, honestly, technically, my play, especially at the start of bracket, was like not super clean. I think I was dropping lots of stuff, but um, I think I was making like the right choices, uh, and that ended up being what mattered more. Nice. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm. I, this is my first time I've won anything, so <laughs> I'm like, yay. <laughs> Yeah, no, big congrats. Like, it, it actually is a rare opportunity in Melee because only one person gets to win the tournament. You know, like, if you think right. about how many people have actually won tournaments before, it's it's low. Just because usually just only one person can actually win. So enjoy the moment, yeah. for sure. Thank you. I've always been, like, a two and twoer or, like, a, you know, bracket buster, but it feels good. <laughs> yeah. Um, looking at your bracket, let's see, you played Ethan, Subtonic in a game three, then Pizza Steve, Arnando twice to win. Um, yeah, I think Subtonic was the only, it might, that might have been the only game that I dropped. Oh yeah, because uh, I heard you went really, you did really well in pools too, I think. Yeah, I ended up not dropping a game in pools, which I, I very much did not expect. My last pool that I entered gave me a, a lot of runs for my money, even though I ended up... Uh, winning all of them, but it was really close to a lot of them. Uh, but yeah, I uh, Subtonic really, really took me to the edge. Uh, and uh, even on FD, I mean, I think that was streamed, right? So you saw how, how close that comeback was. Oh, you're right, actually. Yeah, that was streamed. We saw game three. Yeah. And I was, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Once that comeback started, I, I was falling apart. I was like missing all of my inputs and stuff. So I was happy that I was able to Close it out, even though I was definitely choking. But uh, after that, my my play cleaned up quite a bit, which I'm I'm pleased with. Yeah, and and that's still too. It's good that you're able to like feel it it succeed sometimes too, because you know 
in those moments, it, it actually is such a skill to be able to say like, okay, I know things are going off the rails a little bit, but compose yourself enough to close it out. So well done. Yeah. That's been a problem for me for sure. A lot of times, especially at like my local weeklies and stuff, uh, mm -hmm. I'm really trying to work on my nerves and everything, but you know, it's, it's an endless <laughs> thing to work on. Oh yeah. Melee is actually so infinite because even if you think you're in a good spot with like your ego or your preparation or mentality, there's always, you know, different challenges you'll have and, and different things you'll think you realize. So it's, it's always just going to be evolving if you keep yeah. competing. That's so true. I started playing Melee in like 2014 and then took a really long break uh, mm -hmm. around 2020. Uh, but like I, after like going to tournaments for so long, the like only thing I can tell myself is to like not expect anything and to just like kind of like my mentality has been taken for such a ride, especially playing as a teenager. You know, the whole ego thing is so it is so it affects you so much. And so I I, I kind of come into an event waiting for my ego to be put in check, you know? Yep, totally. I mean, I could rant about this forever. Like, literally, I, I talk to people about this all the time, but I, won't, I don't want to spill too much of your spotlight. I'll, I'll say one thing, though, which is I really like that you've emphasized your mentality as, like, you know, expectations, you know, like, you don't want to put expectations on yourself, which I agree with because it's, like, you have to just focus on the gameplay, got to focus on in the moment. Like, whoever wins actually did play better. Like, it's not, there's no deserve to win or, you know, like, I should have done, you know, one or anything mm -hmm. like that. It's really just like, hey, whoever wins, wins, so. I honestly think that playing Ice Climbers helped me realize that way faster because the the nature of playing Ice Climbers in Bracket, I think, is that it's really volatile because you don't know when you're going to end up running into a Peach or a Ganon or if mm -hmm. someone's going to counter big Peach against you, you know, so uh, especially with matchups. Uh, like every time I lose, even if it's to a, a character with a supposedly good matchup like Peach or Ganon or Puff or whatever, uh, it, every time I lose to a character like that, I, I still feel like I got outplayed because I, I could still feel that I was either messing something up or just making the wrong choices, you know, and that's an important thing to recognize, I think, because getting tilted and having that affect your ego is, I, I think it's going to like make you plateau so hard. I 100% agree. Cool. Well, thank you for that insight into your mentality. The the mentality of someone who won, you know, and it, it carried you uh, pretty far. So well done. I hope you continue to embrace learning and playing Melee. Okay, thank you. cool. I hope to as well. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, cool. Well, I think we can wrap it up here because I don't want to keep you too long. Uh, do you want to say anything while you have the mic? Any shout outs, anything you want to say, plug, if you have socials, whatever you want to say, you can use the mic. Sure. Um, shout outs to Washington Melee, shout outs to Bellingham Melee, shout outs to Reed, Hard Reed, and Trevor TN, uh, who like told me about this tournament and have like been supporting me, which has been really nice. Shout out to my girlfriend, Astrid, who's wonderful and has been hearing me on. Nice. Uh, they've been, they've been, Lovely. Um, even though this ends up this ends up eating a lot of our night together, and so uh, in a sense, I'm glad I won. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, and shout out to everyone running and helping out in, in this tournament. I think that the series is great, and I I really love the atmosphere in this like general Discord and and uh, and bracket. Just the the vibes are great. Uh, and it's really great for um, trying to get better. And uh, I really support the cause. I'm also a trans woman, so I, I love the I love the giving out and, and uh, charity and stuff. Sweet. Well, thank you for all those great shout outs. Yeah. Thank you so much for running the tournament. Um, have a good night. You too. Enjoy the win. Good night. All right. Thanks. Bye. Cool. Well, that was a super fun interview. Thanks everyone for tuning in and supporting us. Uh, we're gonna raid a friend of the stream, Mukavo. Yes, also trans rights. Nice trans waddle dee. Um, yeah, we're gonna raid Mukavo. He's a friend of the stream. He is quite the homie. So please give him a follow if you like music or melee. Those are the main things he streams. He oh music. <laughs> I, I guess melee is like the third thing or second thing. Music, melee, fire emblem. Those three things.
Okay, everyone, uh, thanks for tuning in and supporting. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Oh, I'll manage the prediction. Excuse me. Choose outcome, BIST. Let's give those points. Okay, now we're going to go. Bye-bye.